All right, and we're back with more Vampire Survivors. So we couldn't see the results of our run, but we did get some more stuff to unlock now. We gotta find the Forbidden Scrolls and the Great Gospel. That's the main two things. There's also Gracia's Mirror and the Seventh Trumpet. Those will be a little bit later. But now with the yellow sign, we can also have access to uh, some other stuff. But the main thing we're gonna do right now... Uh, we need somebody... There's no healing on the map we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the bone zone. I think I have access to it. But we are gonna take Cavallo to the bone zone and hopefully not get boned. So there's a gold bonus, no health drops. So what we're gonna try to do is get a early on some healing. So we wanna get the uh, Pumarola and extra health. Oops. We want to make sure our Arcanas are on. Anyways, let's go. So, as you notice, thanks to the yellow sign, there's two rings and two items on the sides over there. Uh, those are special relics that we couldn't have, uh, we didn't have access to before. But now that we have the yellow sign, we can actually get them in any stage. So. What we're going to work on right now is beginning potentially Serenade of Healing. And, uh, where is it? Waltz of Pearls. Because Cavallo's weapon. Oh, no, it's not Cavallo. Not, not, not that one. Uh, beginning. And the Blue Iron Will. Is maybe? No, it's not. I, I keep mixing those two weapons up. Anyways, uh, we're definitely going to go with the Serenade of Healing, but let's take the the beginning first, and then we'll pick up a Wake, actually. So, the Bone Zone features only skeleton-like enemies. Uh, I was hoping for the Basic Whip, but we'll take the Vento Sacro. It will give us something for close range to use. That'll smack the easy enemies at the beginning. Alright, basic whip, nice. Now we really want to get the Pumarola, the Hollow Heart, and also the. Um... I forget. We'll see. I'll, I'll see if I can remember. But anyways, uh, this is a 30-minute stage, so we'll probably cut at some point. Uh, let's see here. Let's take the uh, area here. Uh, well, we are going to get head south. Yeah, Hollow Heart, Pumarola. Uh, I'm not sure weapon-wise what else we want though at the moment besides the uh, the garlic. But we want to head towards that question mark. There's a. It's not a coffin. I'll say that right now. Also, not gonna grab the uh, the ring there. We're just gonna chase the question mark down right now. Okay, we're gonna have to farm some XP here because we're definitely not getting enough right now. We also want to reach level 80 with this character. That's the main goal. The cherry bomb again. But 
But the main reason we want the uh, to get both whips is uh, its lifesteal ability once we actually get the uh, Bloody Tear and also the Pula, Pualu, I forget the name. <laughs> but yeah, that weapon. Alright, we're getting closer to the question mark though. As you can already tell, this map has some dramatic music going on. But going to the weapon that Cavallo starts with, the Cherry Bomb. Uh, it has a random chance to explode, sometimes it doesn't, but... I'll take the higher chances. Nice. We need to get the Hollow Heart though, that's the thing. I am not getting some good luck with our uh, passives. Catching up to it, but it's a bit of a waste still. Mm, not the best selection there. The nice thing about this map though, it's a good money maker map just because they're, all the light sources are guaranteed money. So if you go with a greed and luck build, uh, you'll probably get a good chunk of the bigger money bags. Also, sorry if I uh, constantly pause on this one. Uh, keeping up with the, uh, the question mark is a little tough so, and it can change directions when it feels like it, so... Luckily right now it seems to be slowing down, so we can we're almost there. Once I have a visual on it, I won't have to be constantly pausing. Alright, we're almost there. Probably spot it soon actually. There it is. So the I don't know what is this is called, the the bone the bone ball. We just want to smack the crap out of it. Come back! Be careful not to touch it though, it will obliterate you if you're not careful. It also will absorb enemies and actually get bigger so... It's not ideal when that happens, of course, because not only do you not get the XP, I think it actually gets more HP and it gets uh, stronger. Definitely not strong enough to take it down at the moment, so I just want to keep an eye on it primarily. Dang. You're gonna have to let it go for now. We, we, need, we need to get some XP here. Hopefully I can catch up to it later.
Yeah, this might not be a successful run at this rate. Let's just take Santa Water. We need something with AoE. Besides the Cherry Bomb. And the Cherry Bomb's not super reliable. Not that the Santa Water is much better. But at least that way I'll have multiple AoE sources. But yeah, I am not on pace to do anything, unfortunately, so I, maybe I shouldn't have picked this guy for this uh, run in particular. I had a good start, though. I had the weapons I wanted, but unfortunately, we're not getting any passives that I need. See? Like, I'm not- I'm just not getting them. Luckily, our power-up of healing is actually saving us right now. There you go, there's a skeleton there for, uh... Yeah, the skeleton dogs are kind of tanky. Not ideal. There's the hollow heart. A little late, but at least I have it. Hopefully we can still do something on this uh, run. Uh, weaker skeletons are showing up, so we can f hopefully farm some XP right now. Let's take the Laurel. We kind of need the protection now for sure. idea that'll maybe help me survive in the long run but I need to actually make it to the uh, the arrows it's the module left and right I don't even know which one's closer I went really hard south Ah, you showed up. That's not great. Yeah, the green uh, little reaper there uh, sometimes shows up on this stage and also in the uh, dairy factory, if I remember right. stay near that chest for a while But uh, probably at the 15 minute mark, I'm just going to cut this episode and see what we can do because it's, uh, it's not a hot run. I'll say that right now. We're not doing too hot. I am recovering my health though, so we are at least staying alive, but getting to level 80 and uh, killing the skeleton balls does not seem in the car, uh, to be in the cards at the moment, at least how we're doing so far. Let's take the Attract Orb. I need to be able to gather that XP.
But yeah, this is the bone zone where you get boned if you're not careful. I'm barely just not getting boned because of my recovery and my ability to kind of be able to dodge a lot of the, the things flying at me. Also, the low roll is helping for sure. Alright, we're actually pretty close to the module right. But I'm kind of hoping we get to, uh... Get the garlic and the fumarola before we decide to pick those up. At least that. I should probably take the crown if I want to have any hope of getting to level 80 with this guy. Alright, one more Vento Sacro, two more whips. And we might be able to pull this off. Because I'll have uh, some actual healing besides my really slow passive healing. I don't like that the skeleton dogs are back though. garlic we'll take it but it's not gonna be very good at the moment it's more of a setup weapon at the moment Take the basic whip twice. Nice. Tarona. Would be nice, but I actually not. I need more cool cooldown on that. Um. Tomorola. Nice. Laurel. All right. Let's see, we want one more Bento Sakuro, but we have enough for the basic whip, so let's head towards the chest and hopefully get the upgraded whip. Nope. Let's try again. There we go. Alright, we have some potential healing finally. Tiragisu would be nice, but, uh... You know what? Screw it. Let's take it. Just to have some insurance. Alright, now we're sitting pretty, but I am gonna cut it, so... I'll see you guys when I finish this run. Actually, no. When I get something in particular. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit. In a bit. Alright, unfortunate. Uh, we got the 30-minute survival, but that's it. Unfortunately, Kavala was not the best choice for this one, but we managed to survive it. So I'm going to have to use Cavallo again at some point just to get him to a level 80 so I can get a um, a reroll. Uh, but we will we'll try to do something else on the next episode. So not the best run, but oh well. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.